Tonight, opportunity knocks for two men who tasted victory back at WrestleMania. Austin Theory, John Cena, two superstars who are no stranger to each other after they shared a squared circle on three occasions last year. But tonight, the chance to fight the new World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre on April 16th at Backlash hangs in the balance. A massive main event, plus so much more action here on Friday Night SmackDown. And it all kicks off right here, right now. It is time for an all new year on Friday Night SmackDown. And tonight, we crown a new number one contender for Drew McIntyre's World Heavyweight Championship at Backlash. When all day, Austin Theory takes on the franchise, John Cena. No love lost between these two men. Who's going to Backlash? We will find out later tonight on SmackDown. And we kick things off on the blue brand, live from Greensboro, North Carolina, with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody made his return at WrestleMania, unfortunately unsuccessful, falling to Austin Theory. But through the minds of the WWE Draft, Cody Rhodes has found his way to Friday Night SmackDown. And for the first time in nearly eight years, the American Nightmare graces the blue brand ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, Weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! From undesirable to undeniable, the prodigal son is back in WWE. And what is going to be an awesome night here in Greensboro, a night where we will crown the number one contender for the new World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre, at our next live premiere event on Sunday night, April the 16th at Backlash. Also tonight, the women's division is back on Friday Night SmackDown. And the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Bianca Belair and Shotzi, are set for action later tonight. But we kick things off with the American Nightmare, one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Wrestling. And his opponent, from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Another man who has made his way to SmackDown through the WWE Draft Lottery, formerly one half of the WWE World Tag Team Champions with Tommaso Ciampa split apart in the draft. Ciampa remains on Raw, Gargano here on SmackDown. And now both those men are gonna be forced to find a new way Gargano in action tonight against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. We'll see Tommaso Ciampa in action this Monday on Raw in the midst of that number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship. Ciampa gonna take on Cedric Alexander this Monday night. But here we go, what a way to kick things off. Your first Friday Night Smackdown of the year. Johnny Gargano, Cody Rhodes, two men newly a part of Friday Night Smackdown. It is going to be a great night of action. Greensboro is rocking. Here we go. We are underway with your opening contest. The road to backlash kicks off here tonight. John Cena and Austin Theory warming up behind those curtains. Ready to step foot inside this squared circle later tonight here on SmackDown. Right now, Johnny Gargano taking the fight to the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Both of these men unsuccessful at WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes losing his return matchup to WWE. Johnny Gargano, along with Tommaso Ciampa, losing the World Tag Team Championship to the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, who through the WWE draft still do remain on SmackDown. So both these men looking to bounce back here tonight. You gotta wonder the psyche of both of them coming out of WrestleMania a few weeks ago. I mean, Cody Rhodes, his first match back in WWE in almost eight years. 
just to come back and lose to the man we will see later tonight, Austin Theory, and take nothing away from either man in that matchup. An incredible fight as Cody Rhodes is taking the fight to Johnny Wrestling right now. Wait a minute, Cody Rhodes stacking up Gargano, wants the victory, not just yet. Cody Rhodes threw everything in the kitchen sink at Austin Theory in Tampa Bay, but Theory caught Cody in just a midst of a second. I was able to put him away at WrestleMania. No doubt one of the biggest victories of Austin Theory's young career. And we're talking about a man who was the WWE Champion late last fall. Nonetheless, Cody Rhodes, nice shot to Gargano. Again, both men looking to bounce back tonight. Now here's Cody stomping away on Johnny Wrestling in the corner. It's the first time ever these two are going one-on-one -on -one ever anywhere in the world. And it's taking place right here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Gargano a little worse for wear as Cody Rhodes whips him into the ropes. There's some vintage American Nightmare action. Cody Rhodes into the cover again. We've seen Cody go for a couple of covers tonight. Cody Rhodes wants that first victory back under the WWE umbrella, and he wants it now. But Johnny Gargano has got other plans. Again, Gargano lost the WWE Tag Team title at WrestleMania alongside Champa. Gargano wants to get back in the winning ways, and that slingshot to the corner made in doing so. Gargano got a big help, a huge victory here, not just yet. Johnny Wrestling almost stealing the victory over Cody Rhodes. Gargano looking to keep the fight going, but Cody gonna say otherwise there, a nice forearm, takes Gargano off his feet. And now Cody heading to the top rope. Johnny Gargano gets caught with a drop kick there. Cody Rhodes rolling in this matchup. But can he get the job done is the question tonight. In Greensboro, North Carolina, your first Friday Night SmackDown of the year as we are on the road to April the 16th in Minneapolis at Backlash. Cody's looking good in this matchup. Survived that slingshot from Johnny Gargano, one of Gargano's best maneuvers in his arsenal. A nice headlock takeover there by the American Nightmare. Who is going to get their hand raised in a very high profile matchup tonight? I can't wait to see that main event later. Austin Theory, John Cena, again, as we mentioned, two men with no love lost for each other. Battled it out three times last year. John Cena defeated Austin Theory last June at SummerSlam. Austin Theory, when he was WWE Champion, retained the gold over John Cena on Monday Night Raw. And their third and final meeting came back on Thanksgiving night in November when John Cena defeated Austin Theory in the last man standing matchup. It's a rivalry renewed with high stakes, high reward later tonight here on SmackDown. Gargano finding himself in the driver's seat. Cody Rhodes worse for wear. Gargano looks for the victory here. Smells it in his sight, but not just yet. Cody gets the shoulder up again. Cody able to avoid the drop kick by Gargano. Who is going to get the upper hand? It's been very back and forth for the most part in this contest. Nice corkscrew there by the American Nightmare. Sword has been a whirlwind of emotions for Cody Rhodes ever since making his return back at WrestleMania, only to come up short, then find his way through the WWE Draft, only to find out that he would be joining Friday Night SmackDown. So it's a new path, new opportunities, not just for Cody Rhodes, but for Johnny Gargano as well. And it's all about taking advantage of those opportunities. We talk about it all the time. It's all about getting your hand raised. Wins and losses matter around these parts. And you got to get your hand raised to get those championship opportunities, get those main events if you want them. Gargano right now sees victory in his sights. Cody down and out. Gargano with the drop kick again. Cody's got to get back into this, or Johnny Gargano is going to be picking up a huge singles victory tonight on SmackDown. We will see in due time. Sure both these men are highly motivated to not take another loss after their big losses at WrestleMania. It's Cody Rhodes getting back into this. Nice forearm. There's another counter by Gargano. Dodges the boot, and there's a shot to the gut. Simple yet effective, but there's Cody with a forearm. And vintage Cody Rhodes there. Vintage Rhodes family, we should say. Gargano whips Cody off again. Back and forth, the pendulum swings in this contest, and there's another counter by Cody. Nice shot there, the American Nightmare. Wait a minute. Got Gargano up. Bird a breaker by Cody Rhodes. Digging deep in his bag of tricks. And that's going to do it. 
Cody Rose not having to pull out the crossroads tonight. He's got a couple of cords up his sleeve that he can pull out at any given moment. And the American Nightmare secures the victory off that vertebraker upon his return to Friday Night SmackDown. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Well, that victory has got to feel good for Cody Rhodes, but you got to wonder, is Austin Theory still in the back of the mind of the American Nightmare? Is that loss going to follow Cody Rhodes week in and week out? Will Cody want to redeem it? Austin Theory, on the other hand, may be already moving on from Cody Rhodes. We will find out later tonight on SmackDown. We are back live in Greensboro, North Carolina for Friday Night SmackDown. And shoosh, because Alpha Academy has entered the building. Chad Gable and his number one guy, Otis, remain on SmackDown through the WWE draft, and they're looking to start anew tonight. Things haven't been going that great for Alpha Academy. Remember the last time we saw Chad Gable was in a losing effort to uh, one of the men, excuse me, who is now one half of the world tag team champions, that being the one and only Ricochet. But tonight it is Otis who is set for action and he has got his hands full with a debuting former NXT champion who was drafted to SmackDown. Get a look at Braun Breaker. Representing the Steiner family, this former two-time NXT champion drafted to Friday Night SmackDown a few weeks ago and making his official debut right here tonight in Greensboro. And what an opportunity here for Braun Breaker, one-on-one -on -one with Alpha Academy's Otis. A lot of similarities between Braun Breaker and Alpha Academy, but tonight, no similarities matter. It's only about getting the job done. And for Braun Breaker, the pressure's on tonight in his SmackDown debut. He was the big dog. He was the man in charge in NXT. But now it's a whole different playing field, a part of Friday Night SmackDown. A brand that plays host to John Cena, Drew McIntyre, Cody Rhodes, and among others. What about the United States champion, Walter? And now as we know him as Gunther, evidently. We'll see Gunther back on SmackDown a number of weeks, but nonetheless, Otis and Braun Breaker one-on-one -on -one here in Greensboro. And Otis, the big man of Alpha Academy, muscling up Braun Breaker there. Nice hesitation suplex. And again, Alpha Academy, things haven't been really going their way in their last few appearances, but tonight, a chance for Otis to turn Alpha Academy's momentum around. Just squashing the former NXT champion in the corner. Will that do it? Not just yet. Ron Breaker again, he was the man in NXT. We saw him go to war with the likes of Tyler Bate and Ilya Dragunov, Carmelo Hayes, among others. But Braun Breaker is now here on Friday Night SmackDown. It's a whole new roster, a whole different list of superstars to contest against here on the blue brand. There's a nice counter there by Breaker. I love the drop kick there. Uncharacteristic, a little bit of the powerhouse, but when you're going against a bigger, possibly stronger competitor at Otis, you gotta dig deep into the repertoire, as Braun Breaker's doing there with a little simple but ground and pound offense on the big man. A great way to kick off SmackDown tonight. Cody Rhodes getting the victory over Johnny Gargano. Still to come, Austin Theory and John Cena gonna battle it out for the right to fight Drew McIntyre at Backlash for the World Heavyweight Championship. The women's tag team champions are in the house. Bianca Belair and Shotzi will be in action moments here in Greensboro. But right now, Braun Breaker into the cover on Otis to pick up the victory here, not just yet. See, he's trying to work over Otis here a little bit at a time. He's gonna have to bring out the heavy artillery if he wants to get the win. Or again, a possible bigger, stronger competitor in Alpha Academy's Otis. Chad Gable, of course, watching at ringside. As we mentioned, the last time we saw him in action, it was in a losing effort to a man who is now one half of the tag team champions, Ricochet. And we will see Ricochet and Mustafa Ali back on SmackDown sporting their tag team championships in just a matter of time as Braun Breaker, what a clothesline to Otis. 
Here we go for now. Oh, wait a minute. Braun Breaker. Look at the strength out of the big man. Elevating over, over his head and falls out with a spine buster. Momentum in Braun Breaker's corner. And he follows it up with a spear. May have cut Otis in half into the cover. That's a victory. What an impressive debut for the former two-time NXT champion. Otis threw a little bit of everything at Braun Breaker, but what a performance out of the debuting superstar here tonight. The strength to muscle up Otis over his head, followed up with a spine buster, followed up with a spear. Ron Breaker, everybody's gonna have to take notice because he is gonna be a force to be reckoned with here on SmackDown. How do I live with well, next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, April the 16th from the Target Center in Minneapolis. It is WWE Backlash and already advertised the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar is coming home to Minnesota. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a little bit of women's tag team action tonight. The women's division back on SmackDown and you can check out the community tab right here on the No Nation Gaming channel right now to see the official split of the roster for Raw and SmackDown's women's divisions right now. Formerly known as Casey Catanzaro taking the name of Katana Chance. And there at ringside, you see her former tag team partner from NXT has made her way to SmackDown, that being Caden Carter. And these two women back together on the same side, former NXT Women's Tag Team Champions with a huge opportunity against the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champs. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions. It was back on WrestleMania Saturday that Bianca Belair stepped up to be Shotzi's tag team partner after Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell had taken Tegan Knox down with an injury. Bianca, her former rival, that being Shotzi, putting their former differences aside, teaming up, toppling the way, and walking away of Tampa Bay, the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. It was a great surprise, and it was a great matchup at WrestleMania. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, the way it held the gold since Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series last year, holding them all the way till February 25th of this year at WrestleMania Saturday. But they met their kryptonite in the EST, and of course, the ballsy badass, the breakout superstar of 2022, taking care of business. Here comes Shotzi. The former two-time WWE Women's Champion holds gold yet again, alongside again her former rival, that being the EST Bianca Belair. You remember these two women were on opposing ends of each other early last year in the spring and summer. A couple of matches between the two all culminated last year at SummerSlam where Shotzi defeated Bianca Belair for the WWE Women's Championship. But all this time later, Tegan Knox again went down with a knee injury. Shotzi was in need of a tag team partner. And you know what they say, sometimes your enemies are closer than your friends. And Bianca Belair and Shotzi putting their differences aside and taking home gold on WrestleMania Saturday. And now the women's division split apart between Raw and SmackDown and Bianca and Shotzi certainly at the top of the blue brand division. And some hefty competition tonight. They may be the current WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. They are going up against a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in their own right, that being Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. It's been an awesome night of action so far on SmackDown, and it continues right here, right now in Greensboro. Kaden Carter and the EST Bianca Belair set to kick off this tag team matchup. It's a big opportunity for Katana Chance and Kaden Carter tonight. A victory over Bianca and Shotzi could certainly put them at the front of the line for a shot at the women's tag team titles. Of course, the title's not on the line tonight. 
But again, if, Ch if Chance and Carter can get the victory, you gotta believe they'll become your new number one contenders. There's a tag made, a Katana Chance and a nice super kick. Action there. I wanna say by this newcomer team, but of course we have seen Katana Chance on the main roster ever since last summer. Kaden Carter, of course, making her main roster debut here tonight. Some great tag team action by Chance and Carter, but cannot take your eye off the EST, Bianca Belair. She's got all the tools to be one of the best in the division, and she certainly is. There's a tag to the ballsy badass Shotzi, who again really was the breakout star of 2022. Two reigns with the Women's Championship, and now already into 2023, one half of the new Women's Tag Team Champions. Right now, Katana Chance having her way with the ballsy badass. Couple of kicks there for the former American Ninja Warrior taking the fight to Shotzi. Shotzi's all kind of tied up in the ropes right now on spaghetti legs. Katana Chance sees opportunity, smells blood in the water. Look at this. Almost a 619, and it was submission hold there. Very impressive maneuver by one of your challengers tonight. Wait a minute, Katana from the top rope. Big time splash on Shotzi into the cover. Early victory here, not just yet. We have seen Shotzi bounce back from much worse. And again, Shotzi and Bianca dethroning Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell at WrestleMania, the team that held the gold from November to the end of February. And an impressive reign with the titles. They had defeated Naomi and Sasha Banks. They had defeated Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. But Shotzi and Bianca Belair were their, or excuse me, their kryptonite. Meanwhile, Shotzi taking Caden Carter off the apron. Ripcord elbow to Katana Chance. The ballsy badass has got an edge about her. We know that for sure. And she wants that victory tonight, kicking off a new year here on SmackDown. Now look at this, Shotzi, wait a minute, could be going for that slice spread maneuver and stacking Katana Chance up with it. Will that do it? Not just yet, but almost. Katana able to get the shoulder up, but Shotzi going deep into the bag of tricks there and almost got the victory. Took her eye off Chance, and now Chance gonna steal the win. Will that do it? No. Chance and Carter want a shot at the tag team titles, but they gotta get through the champs and non-championship action here tonight. And Shotzi taking her eye off the ball to knock Kaden Carter off the apron. May have cost her there, but can't count out the ballsy badass who delivers a pair of knees to Katana Chance. There's a tag made to the EST, Bianca Belair. Bianca Shotzi's new tag team partner. A strange alliance, but certainly an effective one of what we've seen so far. Now Katana may be in trouble. She took that slice bread from Shotzi. We saw a little bit of adrenaline out of her. Now rolling to the outside, and the EST has got her eyes locked on her opponent tonight. Oh, wait a minute, here comes Bianca over the top rope, taking out Katana Chance. Bianca Belair, first night back on SmackDown, and she's looking to make some waves here in the blue brand. Over the top rope, down to the floor, taking out her opponent, now not done with the offense. The EST and the Ballsy Badass certainly got an attitude about them tonight. They want the victory, they want to prove themselves. They're already the tag team champions, but they hear the naysayers. They know people are doubting their chances as a tag team. Former rivals now on the same side. Wait a minute, Caden Carter getting tagged in. Bianca with the KOD. Caden might have never stood a chance. And Bianca into the cover, but there's Caden Carter, excuse me, Katana Chance. Breaking things up before Bianca could even get a one count. And now Belair going behind on Caden Carter. It was a glance slam maneuver. And now back into the cover. But again, Katana making sure that Bianca Belair can't even get the one fall here. Shotzi getting set over the top rope by Chance. But Belair sends over. Katana Chance there. And now Bianca Belair has grabbed Caden Carter. A lot of action to keep up with here in this tag team matchup on SmackDown. And now we're back to a one-on-one -on -one affair, at least for the moment, as the tag team partners have been down and out. Bianca grabbing a hold of Caden Carter here. There's a little bit of that strength on display from the EST. Come on, Shotzi 
And Katana Chance going out of ringside, but Bianca Belair is going back to what works. The KOD for the second time. Katana Chance down and out by hands of the ballsy badass. And there ain't no getting up from double KODs. A big time victory upon their return to SmackDown. The new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions taking the fight to Caden Carter and Katana Chance and Shotzi and Bianca Belair. Walked it away from Greensboro, North Carolina, 110% victorious. What a great matchup here in the women's division. Here are your winners, Bianca Belair and Shotzi. You gotta wonder who is gonna step up and challenge Shotzi and Bianca for those WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Only time will tell, great matchup here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming your way next week here on SmackDown, he retained the Cruiserweight title at WrestleMania against Santos Escobar, but the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio, gonna continue to be a fighting champion. He's issued an open challenge for next week. And also next week on SmackDown, we kick off a United States Championship Eliminator Series to crown Gunther's number one contender. Next week, Dexter Loomis, Dolph Ziggler, and the glorious Robert Roode compete in the first round of the Eliminator Triple Threat Action. And then in two weeks, Jinder Mahal, Johnny Organo, and the phenomenal AJ Styles returns to SmackDown in the second matchup of the United States Championship Eliminator. The winner of those two triple threat matches will meet in the finals to crown the number one contender. But speaking of crowning a number one contender, who is gonna face Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship on April the 16th at Backlash? We are set to find out right here tonight in Greensboro. It is Main event time! The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! New theme song, same swagger. Austin Theory walked into WrestleMania and walked out the victor, spoiling the return of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And this young man is riding the biggest high possibly in all of world wrestling entertainment. But tonight Austin Theory's gotta be focused because a shot to face Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship at that state. And a man he knows very well. The franchise John Cena will stand on the opposite side of the ring looking to accomplish the same goal. Theory is one and two against Cena. Can he even those scores here tonight? And here comes the franchise. Cena is in the house on SmackDown. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. John Cena kicked off WrestleMania Sunday with a big time victory over the glorious Robert Roode. And now Cena back on the blue brand tonight. And he is looking towards Austin Theory. But is John Cena looking through Austin Theory? Because if Cena can go one on one with Drew McIntyre at Backlash, well, if you remember recent history, dating back a few months ago on SmackDown, Cena owns a victory over Drew McIntyre. That was leading up to the Royal Rumble where Cena punched his ticket to meet then world champion Seth Rollins. So Cena no stranger to stepping foot in the ring with Drew McIntyre either. And if Cena can get through Theory tonight, you gotta believe the 16 time world champion is gonna feel more than confident heading in to Minneapolis, Minnesota on Sunday night, April the 16th. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it is main event time right here in Greensboro on SmackDown. Austin Theory, John Cena, locking horns yet again. Who is gonna get the upper hand in the early going? Looks like Cena will do so. And I'm sure the new World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre, the man who took down Seth Rollins, sent him packing a Monday Night Raw thanks to the draft lottery. I'm sure McIntyre has got his eyes locked on this matchup, awaiting his first challenger for the big gold belt. Drew McIntyre, a man who never steps down from any challenge, so I'm sure he does not 
have a preference on who he'd like to face. I'm sure a match against Cena might see a little bit more respect. I'm sure anybody in the locker room would love to wipe the smirk off Austin Theory's face. But nonetheless, Cena, look at that. Nice counter, sunset flip to go to Backlash. Not just yet. These men know each other well after they pushed each other to their absolute limits on multiple occasions last year. Again, John Cena defeated Austin Theory last June at SummerSlam. And it was the night after Extreme Rules last August where Austin Theory retained the WWE Championship against John Cena on Monday Night Raw. And the situation bled all the way till Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series, which we've been referencing a ton tonight. It was a very historic night over the last year where John Cena defeated Austin Theory in a last man standing matchup. Ever since then, Austin Theory's been off on Monday Night Raw. John Cena's been here on SmackDown. They meet again thanks to the WWE Draft and an ultimate opportunity at stake. Cena went for another cover there. Theory able to kick out. I think Cena knows that Austin Theory is no easy challenger to keep down, but trying to get in the head and possibly throw Austin Theory off his game. Theory was the WWE Champion. I'll bite for just over a month last year, but the young man has already made major waves in his young WWE career, and he can't count Austin Theory out if he were to fight Drew McIntyre for the World Championship at Backlash. A man who has got all the tools to be a mainstay in the main event, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time before all day Austin Theory is back there yet again. And if he keeps up this offense, we better stop mouthing off to John Cena, better keep the offense going. As long as he keeps it up, he may as well be fighting Drew McIntyre on April 16th. Into the cover on John Cena, and Cena gets the shoulder up. We saw how tough Austin Theory is at WrestleMania. When he survived an onslaught from the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes had blood tricking down from the forehead and still was able to sneak away with the victory. Whether you like Theory or not, there was no by hook or by crook. He did it fair and square, clean as a whistle at WrestleMania. And of course, so did John Cena over Robert Roode the next night on WrestleMania Sunday. Both these men deserving to be in this spot. Both deserving challengers for Drew McIntyre. But at the end of the day, only one of them can go to Backlash. Cena trying to steal the victory here. Not just yet. Cena catching Austin Theory off his game. And although Theory is a former WWE champion, that's still some of the naiveness in the 25-year-old Austin Theory. Cena called him there. Theory hadn't... Nowhere, wait, 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 wait a minute, Cena over the top, or excuse me, through the ropes, suicide dive, John Cena throwing caution in the wind, all the means to fight Drew McIntyre at Backlash, but there's Austin Theory making sure Cena can't mount some offense. Theory thought he could get away from Cena for a moment, but John Cena going uncharacteristic there, diving through the ropes to take out Theory. Meanwhile, Theory lays out John Cena on the outside. And this is not good for the franchise player of World Wrestling Entertainment. Austin Theory can be very dangerous on the outskirts of the ring, and he's proven it right now against John Cena. That suicide dive may be coming back to haunt the franchise. Referees at a count of six. If both these men get counted out, then I guess both of them will be ruled out for backlash. We'd have to find a new number one contender for Drew McIntyre. Nonetheless, Theory back in the ring. John Cena going to hustle his way back inside the squared circle. And Theory, what a pump kick to John Cena. But again, Theory turned his back to Cena. And I don't think that's a good idea because there's a German by the franchise player. Never take your eyes off a man who has been to the top of the mountain 16 times over. A former WrestleMania main event. A guy who has been the face of WWE for damn near 20 years. And now Cena heading to the top rope. Theory is on spaghetti legs. Cena slingshotting himself almost halfway across the ring with the crossbody. And will that do it? Not just yet as Theory gets the shoulder up. Highly competitive matchup in your main event of the first Friday Night SmackDown of the year. We are live from the Greensboro Coliseum, Greensboro, North Carolina. Friday night, March the 24th, 2023. And we are in the midst of a number one contenders match between Austin Theory and John Cena. The winner's gonna fight Drew McIntyre on April 16th at Backlash in Minneapolis for the World Heavyweight title. And oh man, Cena sending Theory for a ride over the top rope there. Nothing pretty, but certainly effective.
Referee begins the count out, and I'm sure John Cena isn't looking for a count out victory here. Cena always liked to get it done inside the squared circle, but John Cena gonna take a moment to catch a breath, and he can't blame the 16 time world champion. Cena may still be in top physical condition, but at the end of the day, he has got some years on Austin Theory. Can he go the distance compared to an all day theory? Cena obviously with more big match experience, but Theory has been here in the past. Will he crumble under pressure? Or will he thrive against John Cena tonight? Theory looking to bring the record between these two men to a piece. Cena looking to get the massive upper hand, three to one. Not necessarily what it's all about here tonight. A chance to fight McIntyre for the world title is certainly more important, but some bragging rights are always there. Nice Luthez by Cena. Oh, wait a minute here. John Cena looking for a little, you can't see me, a little five knuckle shuffle on Austin Theory. Into the cover to go to Backlash. That's gonna do it, no, Theory gets the shoulder up. You remember back to December the 9th of last year, the SmackDown All-Star kickoff in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was John Cena, Drew McIntyre, Robert Roode and Seth Rollins in a four-man elimination matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship. John Cena eliminated Drew McIntyre on that night with the five-knuckle shuffle. Both men had each other scouted there. A couple of reversals, and now Austin Theory finds himself back in the driver's seat of your main event. As we were mentioning, though, Theory kicking out of the five-knuckle shuffle, a move that McIntyre has felt in the past, and I'm sure he would prefer not to feel again. Theory up over the top rope there, but again, that has really been the detriment of Austin Theory to this matchup, keeping his eyes off of John Cena, gloating to the audience here in Greensboro, soaking in the lights and the pageantry, and taking his eyes off the 16-time world champion who dives at Austin Theory there. Not sure if he caught all of it, but he certainly caught all of that one. Might be able to find Austin Theory's head in the third row after that clothesline. John Cena is fired up in your main event. Now Austin Theory again finds himself fighting an uphill battle against the John Cena. Now Cena, look at this, going for Maybe a pump handle here, no. A double underhook, Austin Theory counters. Theory goes behind, and STO takes Cena off his feet. Theory's gotta stay on Cena here. Wait a minute, going a town down on John Cena. Theory is gonna go to backlash, not just yet as Cena gets the shoulder up in the last second. Cena was going for a trip to the ATL. A-Town down, but Austin Theory not able to put John Cena away just yet. Can never count out the franchise. Never give up is not just a slogan. It is how John Cena fights all of his battles from bell to bell. And John Cena will not stop until his heart stops pumping blood. He wants to fight Drew McIntyre more than anything at Backlash. Coming off the top of the elbow. Will that do it to the heart of Theory? But Austin Theory muscles the shoulder off the canvas again. What an incredible main event we are witnessing here tonight. Theory taking Cena off his feet. Can Cena get back into this matchup as Austin Theory's got Cena up again. Down goes the franchise. And I do not like Cena's chances right now because Austin Theory is really digging deep in the bag of tricks and throwing everything he's got at Cena. And that may do it. From the top rope, uncharacteristic of Theory, but it's still not enough to keep Cena down. What is it gonna take to hear the three count tonight? To hear the bell toll again? Cena trying to build some momentum. Austin Theory cutting him off there with the Lariat. And Austin Theory again mounted off to Cena, mounting off to this capacity crowd here in the Coliseum in Greensboro. He better keep doing what he just did, and that's grounding and pounding on the franchise player of WWE. Theory unloading on Cena here. Theory might be asking himself what the hell he's got to do to keep John Cena down and out for good. And that backbreaker may have just done it. Cena again gets the shoulder off, but Austin Theory, he's got to stay focused. 
He cannot allow Cena's survival to mess with his psyche in this matchup. And that's if Austin Theory can even get his wits about him. As Cena's looking for a knockout blow, and he's looking for it right now. Austin Theory to his feet. John Cena whips off the opponent, follows him. Oh, look at this. Monkey flip there by the franchise. Sends Austin Theory dead center of the ring. Cena's still fighting right now, but you gotta wonder the damage that he took against Austin Theory. Theory threw a lot at Cena there, went A-Town down on numerous occasions. Cena's still got heart left in him. Now trying to deliver some stiff elbows to the back of Austin Theory. Theory may be off his feet, but can't take your eyes off that young man until you hear the three count. There's a counter by Theory. Wait a minute. Look at this. He's got Cena all kinds of tied up there. And he drops him right on the knee. Theory into the cover. And there's no way Cena. No! Cena gets the shoulder up again. I was about to say there's no way Cena can kick out again. And there he is doing it. And now Austin Theory. Countered by John Cena. Cena is still fighting. He wants the world championship more than life itself. Cena's got theory. Added to the adjustment. Cena gonna punch his ticket to April 16th. No! Austin Theory kicked out of the AA. You have gotta be kidding me. We are witnessing one hell of a fight just for the opportunity to challenge for the world championship. If we're seeing this kind of fight out of these two men tonight, imagine what the winner is gonna bring to the table against Drew McIntyre when we get to the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota on Sunday night, April the 16th. I'm sure the tank has gotta be on E for both of these men, but somehow they're still swinging away. Cena survived A-Town down. Theory survived the attitude adjustment. Austin Theory getting taken out with a hard blow to the jaw by John Cena. Cena's got to be wondering, the same as we are questioning with Austin Theory, what is he going to have to do to keep Theory down tonight? He's done it in the past, so is Austin Theory. But Austin Theory, we can really say, has probably only gotten better since the last time these two men fought. And John Cena is dealing with Possibly a whole new bag of tricks out of the young man. Here he goes for a shot. Cena absorbs the blow and now squashes Austin Theory into the corner. Now John just trying to put the hurt on his opponent tonight. Cena wants to become a 17-time World Heavyweight Champion. But the only way he's going to get that opportunity is if he can get through his old rival Austin Theory here tonight on SmackDown. Theory on the outside. Here comes Cena with a senton off the apron. You want to talk about throwing caution in the wind and going uncharacteristic. Look no further than Cena taking things to the sky tonight. With Austin Theory able to counter there and sending Cena right to the barricade. Cena might have avoided it there. Now Cena, look at this, reverse suplex on the outside of the ring and down goes Theory again. The matchup rolls on. What has been one hell of a main event to kick off a whole new year here on Friday Night SmackDown. From this time next year, we may be talking about how this was one of the best matches of 2023. Austin Theory eating the ring apron there. John Cena gonna send him back into the ring, the only place that Cena wants to get his hand raised tonight by pinfall or submission. Cena bringing him in, nice slam there by the franchise. Does he still have what it takes, though, to keep Austin Theory down? The man who defeated Robert Roode at WrestleMania. Austin Theory defeated Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. But who will be the one getting their hand raised tonight on SmackDown? Cena's been in control the last few minutes. Austin Theory looking to get back some of that momentum, however. Makes his way to the second rope. Kicks Cena off there. Goes for the missile drop kick. And John Cena got out of the way, crash and burn. Oh, wait a minute, Cena stacking up Austin Theory. And he got him, he got him. John Cena stole the victory right out from un underneath Austin Theory's nose here tonight. 
Well, both men survived everything in the kitchen sink. The five knuckle shuffle, A town down, attitude adjustment, none of it was enough. Cena stacking up Theory with that roll up to get the victory here tonight on SmackDown. What a main event. Here is your winner. Well, Austin Theory may not be happy with the result, but it was clean as a whistle. And now coming up on April the 16th at Backlash, the franchise gets the opportunity to become a 17-time world champion when he battles the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, in SmackDown's main event in Minneapolis. Well, what an awesome night here on the first Friday night SmackDown of the year. Theory and Cena pushing each other to the limit, but John Cena's on his way to Backlash. Thank you for joining us here tonight. We will see you this Monday for Raw and next Friday night on SmackDown. Good night, everybody. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.